Welcome, I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And the Raptor Review is going to start in a minute, but we just wanted to let you know that we have a really cool segment on our other channel called Extra Throttle House where we sit on a couch and talk about things. Yes, it, it allows us to talk about things that we weren't otherwise able to talk about on the main channel. We also have a website where we sell merchandise, thethrottlehouse.com. It's got t-shirts, yep. and I'm James, you can get the whole thing. Whole thing. Yep. What's that? It's an album of our uh, greatest car hits. We don't have any of those. Yeah, we do. No? Yeah. On here, you can find such gems as Come Drive With Me. Come drive with me. Let's drive. Let's drive away. And of course, Hold Me Closer, Tiny Lancer. Hold me closer, Tiny Lancer. Pass the Subaru on the highway. These aren't real. That doesn't sound real. No, these are real, 100%. As well as, we didn't melt the tire. We didn't melt the tire. It was always burning since the wheels were turning. We didn't melt the tire. But of course, our personal favorite, Ave Miata. Ave Miata. You're watching Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And this is the new Ford Rap. Of all of the F-150s, it's the special one. And here it is in its newest generation. It benefits from the new F-150 interior goodies and new styling, but its power numbers haven't changed from last gen. The 3.5-liter twin-turboed EcoBoost V6 puts out 450 horsepower and 510 pound-feet of torque. So it's not the torquiest F-150 you can buy. And with the incoming F-150 Lightning, it's not the most powerful either. So why in the name of all things Bald Eagle does it cost as specced over a hundred grand Canadian? Let's find out. If you're new to Throttle House, we do car reviews, track tests, and quite a lot of messing around. So subscribe and hit the bell. All right, this isn't a V8, and I, I get it, I know, you want it to be a V8, there's a Raptor R coming. It's actually a similar engine to last year, pretty much the same, but now the torque is available lower down, and more importantly, it has a specially tuned exhaust that has a loop in it, which they call a trombone. Which means that when I switch the exhaust into Baja mode, which says off-road use only, this looks off-road to me, and I open the window a little bit, and we shift manually, this thing sounds like a friggin' GTR. I don't care that it doesn't have a V8. I honestly don't, because this sounds crazy. It's the, like the volume is ridiculous. <laughs> and it does zero to 60 in five or whatever seconds. It's not as fast as the TRX, but it's not as expensive as the TRX. And honestly, it's all, it's all the horsepower that you need to have fun just kind of ripping around. And it, I know it's not a V8, but I actually really like the sound of this Exhaust. I think it's really fun. Sounds better than last year's. The 10-speed transmission with these aluminum paddle shifters is 
is fun. I really like the, there's a, the ratio is really close because there's 10 speeds, obviously, so you get to shift a lot. An Audi R8 wishes it could have paddle shifters this cool. However, in automatic mode, when you turn everything off, and I'm going to slip the drive mode over into normal, it's smooth most of the time, but every once in a while, on a stop and a start, it gives you a big thunk in the back, and I have no idea what it's doing. Maybe it's something to do with the all-wheel drive system. And the thing is, is that since it doesn't have a big ridiculous V8 with a supercharger attached to the top of it, it's not that bad on fuel. Even though I'm ripping around right now, I'm actually getting about 14 liters per 100 kilometers average. And when I really tried to stay out of the boost, which took a lot of effort, by the way, I managed to get it to about 11 liters per 100 kilometers with a mix of city and highway, which is really impressive which means that I'm having way more fun and getting better fuel economy than I can with my own Ram. And a truck like this actually has to be slightly fuel efficient because every time you see the headlines, there's an electric truck that can outperform this in some way. Ford's very own Lightning can beat this to 60 miles an hour. Look at what the Rivian has been able to do off-road or the Hummer EV with its crab walk. But one thing that those all haven't considered is that this shit is dope. And it's considered dope for quite a few things. First of all, this thing doesn't just look the part, it's the real deal. This is an off-road truck and not off-road in the sense that a Jeep might do a trail or a rock crawl and it does have that mode, but off-road in the sense that it can Baja. I'm talking high speeds on desert plains. And while we might not have those in the winter in Canada, it sure is nice to pretend. And the best news is that all the stuff they've done to it to make it handle the dunes has also lent to it being a quality road vehicle. Those Fox dampers, the extra rubber, the new five link rear suspension means that the ride quality is astounding. The normal F-150 has a leaf spring. This has a coil spring. That coupled with the new five link rear suspension means that this has better ride than any truck I've ever driven. And if you've seen our ETH series on truck buying, one of the issues we had with the normal F-150 was that it wasn't quite smooth. There's too much judder coming through. And that was why we ended up going with a Ram because it has air suspension. This rides better than our Ram 1500. And it's the performance version. It also, compared to the normal F-150, has a different steering rack, which feels a lot sharper. And don't think that with its sharper steering and sophisticated ride that this drives like a car. You don't get 14 inch suspension travel without a little body roll. It is, after all, a near 6,000 pound specialized vehicle. Ever since Thomas picked this up, he's been looking at the price guide, he's been saying it sounds like a GTR, he wants this truck. It is, however, quite expensive option to $110,000. And I think we just have to take into account that all trucks are really expensive, because as far as trucks go, this is quite a special one. James? James? Oh, hey. Oh, hey. It's a big truck. It's a big I'll, truck. I'll come yeah. to you. Yeah. It's 96 inches wide, I'll have you know. What does that mean? I, I have no reference it's point like, for that. It's like seven inches wider with the because of the Raptor track than the normal F-150, I think. It is a massive truck. It's massive. It's big. Like in yeah. the lanes out here with a little bit of snow on the edge, the lane keep assist is constantly bouncing going Also, off. this has the 37-inch tires. Which 37? Makes... How could... How could... How did I know that? How did we know that? It has, how is it? It has it on the side here. Yeah, and everywhere. It's yeah. written everywhere. Next to the DNA. DNA. That's not Twig. DNA, James. It's a strand. Did you, did you do high school it's science? It's a strand of DNA. No, it's not a strand at all. It, it's a simpler being. It's no. not. You're thinking of humans. How anthropocentric of you. <laughs> um, That's not the word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it is. It's, it's not how you say it. Um, there, there's a topographical <laughs> theme, yeah. okay? And those are like waypoints on a map because you're doing the Baja 1000 in this. Oh, I see, yeah. I see. Yes, this, is, this truck is definitely a, mother, I must Baja, leave me alone. <laughs> I, that's why I got this truck, even though you probably just see it. I feel like I've seen this on the road and it's, it's, it's kind of like a, 
a manual labor assistant. Like yeah. I've, I've seen plumbers with it and they're like, I needed it. <laughs> I needed yeah. it for the business. Yeah. <laughs> In rapid red. You know, there's, write this one off. There's actually some fun colors. They've gone a bit dodge with this. They've got yeah. velocity blue. Yeah. Uh, they've got one that's just called lead foot. Did you just make that up? No, I didn't no, make it up. But then, but then on the other side, because this is rapid red, it's all to do with speed. Speed, right? yeah. But yeah, um, there was also Oxford White in contrast to that, which just sounds like a... Oxford White, it's, yes. for, the, it's for the intellectual raptor. Yeah, owner. Oxford's not brogues. Um, yeah. Um, I, I'd like to say that in order to actually see what this truck looks like, I need to go for a five mile hike this direction. Yeah, I'm going to walk right off camera. Well, from there, these 17 inches must look even smaller. You know what I will say though? This is probably the best looking truck on the road. Ooh, controversial. What Isn't about, it though? What about the TRX? The TRX is great looking, don't get me wrong, I really yeah. like the look of it, but I think this just has like this, this stance to it that, that, that the, the TRX doesn't quite have. And I just kind of like the design of the front with the Ford and we've got the orange DRLs, I like all this stuff. This is right? quite aggressive, in your rear view mirror, these three, you feel like you have to move over even if you're already on No, I know, it's, it's, got a, it's got a great vibe. It says, you know what this says to me? It says yoga, tea lights, uh, a cup, a London fog. No, you're thinking of the Rivian. Is that what that yeah, is? Yeah, this is okay. this is straight south, you uh -huh. know, beast mode. Bourbon. Roll tide. <laughs> you yeah. know. I like it though. I really, really do like this truck. I'm not sure I could pull off owning one of these. What do you think? Uh, Can you see it? What do you think? Maybe a bit, a bit longer I... in the... <laughs> a bit longer in the Dodge. How do I look? Have you ever seen 17 inch rims look so small, by the way? These are not 17s. They're 17s. No, th what? No, there's no way. They look tiny. Where is the thing? But I, I, oh I, my God, they are. Yeah. That is ridiculous. I, I love the rapid red. I've seen it on a GT500. Oh, here I we think, go. And I, I <laughs> James, listen, you've been talking, just why don't you just buy one? First of all, I think the GT500 is super cool. It is super and cool. And if I could get it in rapid red, that would be what I'd do. Um, but well, you know, I'm surprised about this. You know, I know it's the Baja thing and it's crazy, yeah. but it still has luxuries even on the outside. So if we go to the back. Yeah. Actually, hold on, before we do that, can I just, I think you might have been right about the anthropomorphic. Anthropocentric is actually what you said. I was thinking yes. anthropomorphic. Now I've lost everything. That's okay. There's lots of syllables in those words and you're from a small town. Okay, so, first of all. I'm never gonna live that down, by the way. Do it. Power tailgate. Okay. The small town man in me goes, wow, convenience. <laughs> well, no, you wouldn't, because convenience is too long a word. Okay, so, step. This is perfect for you. Yeah, because I'm 50 and from a small town. Get at it. I'm demonstrating. I've got nothing left. I can't say big words anymore. Look how convenient that is. That's pretty good, eh? That's pretty good. And we've got uh, the power. The, well, it's kind of. It's power pro on board thing. Power, pro power on board. Pro power on board. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, but it's not as, this is not as powerful as the one we had no. in the power boost. This is the, the, the two kilowatt or whatever. Um, it's. It, it is, this isn't the hybrid, so it doesn't have the full, you can't get the full, what is it, the 7.6? 7 7.2 7 no, 7 in the power boost, and it's like 9.6 in the lightning. Oh, right. That is like a serious full-on generator. But it's still nice that it has it. Yeah, it, it is still very useful. Um, like 2,000 watts, which is more than you need to run most little yeah. things. Oh, I've still got 37, proudly here. What was that again? Can we look at the interior? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So, as part of that 37 performance package, yeah. We also have the blue suede console and Alcantara blue suede seats. And the Ra Rhapsody blue, yeah. Yeah. These are these are actually really, really nice. Um, they, they, com they, they genuinely elevate the in so actual consumer advice right now. If you are thinking about getting a Raptor, that package, I think, is worth it. Well, it comes with a lot of stuff. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and, and like these blue seats are really cool. And like the blue door card. Yeah, it comes with some stuff I don't care that much for, like this black tinted carbon fiber thing here. Yeah, like that. Just looks a bit cheap, because I really like the blue suede. Listen, okay, do you want, Ford is all about quality, okay? Never has been the case. Right, so this is a perfect example. I'll prove you wrong, ready? Just listen to the, to the supremely high-end gear noise in this. Right? Yeah. Like the machining. I, I'm just imagining like solid block of aluminum milled parts, right? Like listen to going down. Yeah, you got about 50 more of those. <laughs> <laughs> um, how have you got on with the Bose sound system? Um, this is not Bose. Bang & Olufsen? This is Bang & Olufsen. Oh yeah, it's upgraded. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've, had, I've had one small problem with it. 
Okay. Is every time I turn turn it on, yeah. all it plays is, ain't nobody gonna tell me how to live. And that's all it plays. So I haven't been able to make it play anything else. Maybe it's a Raptor thing. Oh my God, yeah. This is the kid rock of cars in some ways, isn't it? Hey, you said it was the coolest looking truck on the road, so. I guess, there. We, here we stand. Um, it's got a noon marker, it's got orange stitching. Yeah, this is legit stuff. This is a racing truck, okay? Mm -hmm. And it right? will be used like that. 100%, well, well, people are gonna do, are there like Baja track days? Is that a thing? Can you do that? That should be a thing. That sounds fun. That does sound really fun. Yeah. No, listen, it's a very enjoyable truck to drive. I've I've liked it a lot more than I thought I would. I, I mean, honestly, like the, the rest of the Ford stuff in here, this is not specific to the Raptor, but I really do like it. So like, I have a Ram. Right? Um, yes, we know, yeah. Yeah. And, and I, we almost bought an F-150. And it parts of... I regret a little bit. Not that we had a choice, really, because I was all that was available. But, like, there's things in here that I like better than the RAM. Like, I like the solid buttons for heated and cooled seats. That's way quicker. I like the infotainment. I like the gauge cluster better. I think it's easier to read. I prefer the transmission. Not the actual operation of it. Sorry, the shifter. You prefer the RAM? No, thingy. I prefer this shifter. Really? In its up position. In its... Yeah. I'm never going to put it down. Okay. Fully, fully talked is the way that needs to be at I'm, all times. Yeah, I'm not going to look into that. The, the other thing that I really want to point out is that the RAM has a blind spot because of where the mirror is. Where the what is? The mirror. The mirror is higher in the RAM. It has a mirror. 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 I, I can't say big words. We've been over this, so mirror is hard for me. There's a couple there's of There's a lot of R's, though. Yeah, there's yeah, a lot yeah, of R's. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and this... A uh, mirror is lower, and this kind of cuts down. And it's like it's a thing that I haven't talked about in an F-150 before, but I think it's worth pointing out that I actually have noticed this massively after driving a Ram and then getting into this. No, I, re I really like this interior. You know, you say you, you're not sure about the Ram decision and not getting an F-150. Mm -hmm. I, I think I'm hoping that the Lightning... Overhead toggle switches! Don't have that. Oh my god, they actually like... I feel like I'm in an aircraft. See, so maybe you should have got an F-150. And it even has... Yeah. Like a full glass roof. Yep. Which I wouldn't option, personally. Why not? Because it's 1500 bucks or whatever it is. Is it? And it's extra weight where I don't need it. This is already a truck that weighs as much as... But it's lighter than the previous gen. Jupiter. It's lighter than the previous gen. It's only, um, it's only like 5,700 pounds or whatever. So like the same as a... Right. That is a plaid. That, but it'd be grateful because that is 3,500 pounds lighter than the Hummer EV. Yeah, that is crazy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. In case you haven't been reading any news press releases, the Hummer EV is about 10,000 pounds. It's 9,000, yeah, just over 9,000. Over 9,000! All right, well, that it. brings it to a bigger question yes. then, because yeah. if the Raptor is the most ultimate version of an F-150, which yeah. by the way, it's not anymore, because even though this isn't, this isn't a sensible purchase, this is an emotional, yes. I, I understand this vehicle because in the world of practical trucks and trucks and looking for practicality, mm -hmm. this is the emotional one. This is the, oh, sick. Yeah. But there's a Raptor R coming, so does that reduce this is the Miata of trucks, is what you're saying. Will that get me shot? No, maybe, not by me. Miata crowd don't even own guns. I've barely got spoons. But the, uh, I'm just wondering if, if this isn't the ultimate version of a Raptor, and there's all the EV performance trucks coming out for similar yeah. pricing, is there still room in the world for a twin-turbo V6 Raptor? Well, you said it yourself. This is dope. Okay, whether there's room for this or not, the people will decide. But until a supercharged V8 Raptor arrives, this is still the ultimate gas-powered F-150. And ultimate, it is. The ride, the sound, the feeling you get driving it, it genuinely surprised both of us. It taught Thomas, the small town country bumpkin, that you can still have comforts as well as Baja truck things. And it showed me, the little Englishman, that anyone can get on with a Raptor. So even though we aren't lining up to buy one ourselves, thanks in part to quite a restrictive lease on our RAM, colour us mightily impressed, because as far as we can tell, it's a huge win. Thanks for watching.